This is the single unit Reading Bakery Systems extruder. To start the extruder, You need two 40 volt three phase, and there is a plug that would be supplied with the unit. Obviously, you'll be hooking it up much safer than what I have here, uh, but you want to plug it in the side of the panel here, the control power, the knife switch, turn the unit on, and you'll need to supply an airline to the unit. And then to start the unit, we have the emergency stop that we want to reset. And we also have to make sure that the two other safety switches are also made up. The hopper switch and the band cutter limit switch as well. And then to start the unit, We've already reset the emergency stop and we want to hit the power on. And then the, the unit is two different machines actually in one. It, you have the band cutter, the cutting mechanism, and you have the extruder, which the auger control, auger speed, and then the start stop of the auger. That turns the augers on, as you can see. And you need to make sure that those augers are forcing traveling forward, obviously, to force the material out the die. Uh, if for any reason you happen to hook it up uh, with the three phases and it's running the opposite direction, you want to switch two of those phases and make that correction. Now the auger speed is controlled by the speed dial here for how much material you want to be extruded out of the die. Can regulate the speed and then the other side is the other part of the machine is the band cutter and on the band cutter we have a continuous mode which I'll demonstrate the selector switch is in continuous hit the key start make sure that nobody is at the front of the machine everybody's clear and we start the unit and we have the band cutter set at, let's set it at 80 cuts a minute. We do that by changing the speed pot here. And you can see the unit is traveling at 80 cuts a minute. Now that speed can be set anywhere from, uh, let's say, 60 to 120 uh, cuts per minute. And then if you would like to go slower than 60 cuts a minute which is one cut per second then we also have a cycle mode now what I do is I want to set the cutter speed at 80 then I switch to the cycle mode because that's the speed that I want the cutter to run when it's doing a cycle now right now I have the timer set at a two second time delay don't know if you can see that and obviously, if we go down to one second, we might as well run on continuous because we're basically running 60 cuts a minute, so we could do that on continuous. So I'd recommend, you know, if you're going to be using the cycle timer, you know, one and a quarter, one and a half, two seconds, you know, two seconds if you want to do 30 cuts a minute. Uh, that'll give you the ability to slow your extrusion rate down for testing purposes. But once again, you want to flip it on continuous. You want the cutter to be running 80 cuts a minute. And then we can switch to cycle. And then we can set the time delay. And we can go up as high as 12 second delay. Right now it's set at a six second delay. So obviously that's only 10 cuts a minute. And this is a pneumatic 
clutch brake, bow door motor, and this is what's stopping the the unit at the top of its top of its stroke. And there's a uh, a proc switch here that will read a flag on the shaft in order to tell the unit to stop at top dead center. We also have a pressure gauge here and I'd recommend keeping the pressure less than 120. Uh, your prob products are probably going to run best between between 30 and 85 but uh, if you get up over 120 uh, you could see some damage to the die. Uh, the bolts the, pull, the bolts on the front of the die, these 1032 and quarter 20 bolts, uh, they could pop off. So wouldn't be an explosion, but the die would be stressed and, and you, then you're going to need a new die. So as far as uh, any other operation of the machine, uh, as far as any lubrication of the machine, Obviously, it's good to put a little lubrication on the shafts. And there are a couple grease arcs here on the cam follower and on the bearings. Recommend doing that once a month and give it a, give it a shot of grease every now and again. And to shut the unit down, we simply would depress the switch to turn the augers off and the key switch to stop the band cutter. And then we hit the emergency stop. And then we disconnect the air. And we could turn the knife switch off. The control, they would kill the power. And then uh, I'm not going to pull the plug out there, that wouldn't be the safest thing, so pull the plug out of the wall. And then the switch is ready to take the plug out and the unit is safely shut down. Okay, any questions? Uh, Will knows how to get in touch with me. Thank you.